So it's time for the next modification. Uh, since putting the new fan on and the, the cooling assembly, it's running very, very close to the bed. And previously I've just used these uh, bulldog clips uh, to, to keep the bed on. But uh, as I say, it's getting perilously close when that travels backwards and forwards. So I've bought these silicon heat pads from, uh, from AliExpress. Uh, when I first started using AliExpress, I heard some horror stories, but um, I found the prices to be excellent and uh, never had any problems, touch wood. So, um, these pads, they have a, like a, a backing to them, so I'm going to put this down on the aluminium plate and rest the, the glass plate on, on, on top of that. So let's see how that works out. The accepted wisdom appears to be to uh, to use two inch or fifty millimeter squares, uh, one in each corner, and one in the middle. Right. So we'll get the get the glass off and uh, put those pads on. Flip the glass over. This surface um, I have ground a little bit with some uh, some fine emery paper, and I prepare it with uh, with ABS juice, regardless of whether I'm using ABS or or PLA. PLA seems to to stick to it. And for anybody who was paying attention in one of my earlier videos, I said I had a problem with using the transparent uh, PLA from Hobby King um, but it seems to stick well to the to the ABS juice so that's worth a try So now just time to flip that back over and uh, obviously not forgetting to re-level the bed. So now with the, the plate reinstated, just um, just floating on these, these pads, I can't see that going anywhere. I've re-leveled the bed. So it's uh, time to do the first test print. So the bed is up to temperature now, it's just heating up the, the nozzle to start and uh, using the infrared thermometer it's set for 45 degrees, 44.7 so that is there or thereabouts seems to be a little bit lower on, on the glass obviously it's going to be warmer where the pads are, are transmitting the heat up so the print's been running for some uh, 20 minutes or so now so let's just see where the temperature is at. So on the pad, remember the bed set for 45, it's 48. And on the glass, spot on the well, 45, 46. So I think that's a success. So with the, the print completed now, uh, an excellent example of Limpy the Fish, I believe it's called. I'll put a link into the this the description. These are fun things to, uh, to print off. It makes a good test, good test object because uh, there's some quite fine detail in there and uh, the joints become free. So you can see that there's a fair degree of 
of movement there so everything seems to be formed as it should be and I'm very pleased with the results so uh, I hope that's been useful uh, please subscribe uh, like and and share oh I forgot to say there's a little hole there for a keychain excellent